Hey guys. Fuck you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, this is Skullduggery, also known as uh, Anthony. Welcome to my channel. This is uh, my first ever video that I'm going to do. Uh, I was called out by a particular YouTube atheist female. You may know her as Jacqueline Glenn. She has around about 350,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think I've got about 132 right now. But fuck it. I'm going to call her out anyway. Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of requests to do this video. I'm not particularly thrilled to do it, but since it's a topic that I apparently absolutely have to cover, otherwise I'm a hypocrite, here it is. Look at your fucking face. You look so pathetic. Now, whenever I did the video on Elliot Roger, I was frustrated. Why are you, why are you talking about other killers, Jacqueline? That's what I don't understand. Why are you spending half your video talking about somebody else that has got nothing to do with what you're talking about? But I also said that there were other factors involved that they just didn't want to hear about because, of course, it's only because he hates women. They ignored every other factor that didn't personally suit their cause. They viewed it as, he did this because he hated women and that's it. And in another situation, it frustrates me to see a case like this where people jump on it and ignore something in particular because it doesn't necessarily make them feel good or suit their cause. That's why I made a video on Dylan Root. Is that really why you made that video on Dylan Root? That isn't why you made that video on Dylan Roof, Jacqueline. That's got absolutely nothing to do with what you're talking about. The reason why you made that fucking video is because you don't want to alienate the black subscribers that you have. So you have to stand out. You have to say, hey, I'm making a stand on this. White racists need to go to hell. But when a black racist comes along, you're like, eh, well, let's look at the reasons why he did it. Let's look. Is it, is it because he was being oppressed at work? You're a fucking disgrace. When I see people going out of their way to either completely focus on or completely ignore an issue, I see a story and something worth me making a video on. I thought you said this was a comment channel, not a news channel. So if you see things on the news that you want to talk about, i.e. white people killing black people, I guess, you want to talk about it. But if it's black people killing white people, you're like, nah, we can leave that to somebody else. Pathetic. My video on the Charleston shooting pissed off a lot of people because they felt that me saying racism in America is still a problem is the equivalent of saying all white people are racist. Stick to your masturbation videos, Jacqueline. That's what you're good at, apparently. Well done. You bet it's a fucking problem. No, nobody ever said that all white people were racist. You inferred that. You inferred that in your stupid fucking video. There's a small but very vocal group of people on the internet who are just up my ass about this last shooting because the shooter was black. Yeah, there is a small but very vocal people who are up your ass. I'm part of it. And they're always so polite about it too. Hang on, I was expecting a video on the black racist guy who shot the journalists. No, you were all over the Dylan Roof story, weren't you? But no, of course you're not going to cover that story, are you? Wrong colored perpetrator. You're a disgusting piece of shit, Jacqueline. So I'm going to read out my comment that I wrote in my words. Hang on. I was expecting a video on the black racist guy who shot the journalists. No? You're all over that Dylan Roof story, weren't you? No, oh, no. Of course you're not going to cover that, are you? Wrong coloured perpetrator. You're a fucking disgusting piece of shit, Jacqueline. He had issues with his co-workers, who happened to be white. He then shot them. He wrote complaints about white women and black men. He said that he was harassed for being gay. He complained about sexual harassment and bullying at work. I mean, this guy clearly had a victim complex. There was always something wrong. Whether or not these complaints were valid, I don't know. No, you don't want to know. You don't want to know anything. You like, you will get the minimal amount of information about this story as you can. You don't want to know about this story because it's the wrong color. It's like, eh. But regardless, he had a lot of reasons to be upset. He had a lot of reasons to be upset. He had a lot of reasons to be upset. Like what? He had racial issues at work. He had job issues at work. He had people calling him out on things. He moved from job to job. He complained at every single job he was ever at. Ridiculous. Apparently the Charleston shooting was a tipping point for this guy to go on his shooting spree. But to me, that still doesn't necessarily say that it was because of race. And that was a tipping point for him to go on his shooting spree. Was it really? 
No, it doesn't really mean it's necessarily he's racist. Fuck me. It's not like he went into a predominantly white country club and shot up a bunch of white people because white people are ruining this country. It's not, it's not like he, uh, dig, dig, think of something that I can say so he is not a racist. Your accent is terrible, LA girl. Quit with the stupid southern shit because you sound like a dumb bitch. He shot people that he had problems with, personally. Just because the people that he knew, that he didn't like, happened to be white, doesn't mean that he killed them because they were white. And mental illness is also a thing that normally comes up in conversations like this. I mean, in my opinion, anyone who goes on a shooting spree has a few marbles loose. Anybody who goes on a shooting spree has a few marbles loose. Wow. Thank you for that nugget of wisdom, Jacqueline. Jesus. It also doesn't help their cause when they think that they are God, like Elliot Roger, or if they think that God is telling them to do what they're doing. Stop talking about Elliot Roger. We're talking about this black guy that killed the fucking journalist. You s Jesus. And like TJ said, I think a lot of people are looking at this guy and they're just desperate for him to be the black version of Dylan Roof. Like TJ said. Like TJ said. Who gives a shit what that fat fuck says? Uh, really, why, why are you deferring to him, Jacqueline? You're only deferring to him because he has more subscribers than you. That is the only reason why you're saying that. It's pathetic. They want him to be so badly so they can point at him and be like, look, black people do it too. Black people need to stop committing fucking crimes. As though we somehow thought that white people were the only ones who committed crime. They feel it's appropriate to call me a disgusting piece of shit because they wanted a video on this topic. I just needed to do a video because it's only fair that I point out the wrongs a black person did too. No, you missed the point, Jacqueline. The reason why people are asking you to do this video is because you skip the difficult ones. You will be all over those easy white guy kill black people stories. But when it comes to black people kill white people stories, you will avoid it like the fucking plague and everybody knows it. Jesus, people, grow up. I still think racism is an issue. Yes, racism is an issue. But it's the wrong kind of racism that you're talking about, Jacqueline. We're not talking about black people killing white people. You're talking about white people killing black people. That's the racism that you're interested in. I never thought crime was limited to white people only. I'm not a proponent of white guilt, as so many people would like to think. And I think it's really childish and ridiculous that whenever a story comes up in the media that's actually a tragedy fueled by racism, that people feel the need to point their fingers elsewhere because they just can't accept the fact that racism might still be an issue. No, we're pointing the fingers at you, Jacqueline. You are a YouTube creator with upwards of 400,000 subscribers and you're spouting shit. Because for some stupid reason, they take it personally. Yeah, people do take things personally, Jacqueline. That's what people do. I'm sorry, but a black guy shooting people that he worked with and knew and didn't like and had issues with that happened to be white is not the same as a white guy going into a black church and shooting up a bunch of people that he didn't know because they were black. I mean, if the story was reversed and a white guy shot a couple of co-workers that he didn't like and had issues with that happened to be black... Straw man again, Jacqueline. Stop making up a situation that hasn't happened. But it doesn't matter. A lot of people are going to watch this video and ignore every point that I made and only think about two things. One, the shooter was black, and two, I'm a piece of shit. And look at the fucking snark. Just look at the snark as she's walking off. I don't want to do this fucking video, but I've been made to fucking do it. So there you go. Blah. So there you have it. Here's your fucking video. I hope you're happy. Like it. Whatever.